All right, we're at Camera Electronic in Stirling Street. We've got Stefan Kazadi here, who's very uh, fortunate to have had the Profoto A1 in his hands for a week. Uh, Stefan, give us a little bit of an overview of the Profoto A1. Well, um, straight away is the, uh, for me, is the simplicity of the unit. Um, also, the, the shape of the unit is really interesting and very clever, actually. Um, what I've found is a simple thing from changing from a rectangular light source to a round light source is has been a very clever move. Um, it enables us, as well, it enables photographers to position the light anywhere on the camera using the accessories that come with the unit and fire uh, with a consistent light. Um, I've been really impressed with the way that the uh, quality of the light um, the quality of the light that's delivered from this unit uh, is amazing. The consistency of light output is amazing. You, you literally can see it compared to the traditional speed light. Um, the speed and efficiency at which this unit shoots is, uh, is wonderful. So as a working photographer, you're going into battle um, and you're uh, doing an event or a wedding or anything like that, uh, editorial work, red carpet, um, you can shoot with amazing consistency and speed and a, as a working photographer that is uh, that's a great tool to have in your kit. Well, the kit comes with a, a dome diffuser and it comes with a wide lens uh, diffuser as well uh, and Oh, and there is also a soft card, which I didn't pull out of the bag, I didn't actually use that. Uh, a small card, a bounce card. Um, but the other unit or accessory that I've used uh, and had the, the pleasure of using has been this soft bounce reflector. This is uh, an amazing unit and I found the quality of light uh, coming with this accessory is really, really special for speed light. Um, I'll definitely be getting one of these accessories. Um, and as I mentioned, this, all of the accessories are easily uh, fitted with this magnetic uh, catch. So it's a very clean uh, and simple system, method of attachment, which again, if you're out shooting and you're having to move fast and think fast, this kind of system, I think the, for the accessories is a really good one. If you do need, I guess if you did need an additional catch light, if you had a model or subject where there was additional catch light required, you could obviously fire this as well. But this is basically an air remote which will trigger your, uh, any of your uh, Profoto uh, studio lights. Um, if you are wanting to use it just as a uh, trigger, like I did the other day, you can simply turn the uh, flash head off through the menu system. And it literally is a, uh, a pro photo uh, trigger. Um, in studio, um, I think if you were after certain effects, I do have a couple of ideas of how I would like to use this in studio. Considering that it's a small light source and it'll give you a particular look, um, there would be applications for it, but only where you're wanting sort of hard edge shadows and things like that. Beautiful. And when you used it, so just talk, you said you were using it as a trigger on the shoot. Have you yep. used it as a main light source? I used it as on-camera flash and off-camera flash uh, for shooting food. Again, this is where I see uh, a tool like this uh, working well in, in my kit, um, where I'm going on to location, uh, I guess fast-moving jobs and where I need a little bit of light and I need to be able to control that light. Obviously this works perfectly off camera as it does on camera. Uh, if you have the Air TTL remotes, it'll even shoot in TTL mode uh, off camera. Um, and it just is enough to provide with attachments like this uh, soft bounce reflector, um, you can control the light and you can get it where you need it. When you just need a little a little touch of light as opposed to lighting a scene or something like that. Obviously on camera where you're shooting uh, at an event or you're shooting a wedding uh, or some form of uh, editorial work, uh, this is a beast. It throws out a lot of light and it shoots very fast. It keeps up with the likes of a D5 or any other brand of camera that would shoot at a fast frame rate. All right, so Stefan, this piece of kit, who do you see rushing out to get it? Uh, well, I think 
it's a it's a really good tool for any working photographer but if you're already in the pro photo ecosystem i think this is uh, definitely something that should be considered because of the way that it uh, just seamlessly uh, connects in with the pro photo systems again um, the speed at which this shoots and the consistency consistency and quality of light is amazing then you have the uh, the simplicity and speed at which you can add attachments remove attachments i'm sure Profoto will uh, will uh, add to their um, accessory range um, but i just think that um, if you're already in the speed and uh, the Profoto uh, system this would be a really good addition to and let's say you go right i'm not in yet is this a is this a good lead in is this a first nice first bit of kit to buy as a, as a step into the profile system very yeah that's a very good point it it probably would be a great uh tool to have if you're um getting yourself into the uh profile system um this for example uh married with say the uh, b1 kit would be a great uh, all-round kit if if you like to get yourself going in the profile system Beautiful, all right, well thanks for your time today, Stephen. No problem, cheers.